okay, we should play some video games. Um, so yeah, let me fire. I'm bad at playing and talking as everybody is, but I will try to do my best to explain what's going on here. Boop, boop. Yeah, so this is a main character. There's actually uh, multiple heads, so you won't actually always play as this character. Right. I, I mean, I think he was, yeah, a little bit Charles and Heston. We uh, want to sit down right where Methuselah's got the shepherd's nose around. You can talk into a mic if you have questions, but I will play. get you off the space station before the shepherd can get a hold of you. Let me see if I can get that there access to patch open. Uh, yeah, so as you saw in the trailer, this is Headlander, which is. Uh, for dope. much of the game, you're flying around as a human head. But uh, we're starting here in like kind of the second section of the game. This isn't actually the beginning of the game. Um, so you've kind of been tutorialized and introduced the world a little bit already. Um, but you're basically the last human head on a world full of robots. Um, and I think it touches on like a lot of the clips you saw talk about humanity's like relationship with technology and that's a major focus of all those movies and that's definitely present here um hey greg here, could you yeah. turn down the laptop volume just a couple notches sure i can do that here just so we can hear everybody on the street yeah yeah is that better maybe okay uh yes. yeah so that's uh, kind of the main thing here too where you're the last human uh you have no lungs so you don't actually speak throughout the game but um you have this docking ring on your helmet that uh, all of the computers and uh, robot bodies and things throughout the world as well are kind of mapped to the same configuration. So it allows you to kind of land into a lot of different um, different types of robots, but also different types of technology throughout the game and kind of uh, impact things in that way. Um, let me get up to the main Watch yourself. So yeah, when you're in the head mode, it actually kind of feels a little bit bullet hell shooter, especially when laser stuff starts going crazy. Uh, and then, like Wiley said, the rest of the game has a bit of a Metroid feel. It's kind of a 2D action side-scrolling shooter. Um, and here is, this is going to be fine. This is the main actual first beginning of the, the demo where I was supposed to start. <laughs> if I... Uh, Alright, so I guess, yeah, the, the titular headlander is what you'll see here. Um, so this is kind of uh, one of the main things in the game. These are just civilian bodies, so they don't really have any um, ability other than they can all dance in different ways. Um, <laughs> is this the <laughs> Sound Lake song in the background? Uh, this is so all the music in the game is a, a guy called Dave Earl who we work with, and he's actually using uh, all. Uh, analog sense from the 70s. He's working with the San Francisco um, Museum there to kind of gather real uh, old samples. Um, but this allows you to anytime launch your head off of your, bo uh, your body, uh, suck the head off of another robot and land on them. Um, and so sometimes they'll just be civilian bodies like these, um, but also then later on in the game you'll see weapons and other types of things you can land and do as well. Let me, I should help you all find a way to the satellite, shall we? Y'all should be able to fix the signal there. So this first area is called the Pleasure Port, uh, which has a little bit of that hypersexualized stuff you saw in a lot of the movies as well. Uh, you'll notice people rubbing on the ground and on things throughout. And again, you can always dance uh, as well. Is there some kind of narrator who's talking to you throughout? Or? Yeah, and so that's all scratch audio. Uh, right Thank now it's just a couple of my employees um, that will be voice acted. Something is going on in this building here. Um, those will eventually be voice acted as well uh, by real people, not double fine employees. Uh, and that's the benefactor. Um, <laughs> yeah, we always talk about shipping our scratch audio in our games, but never actually have gone through it. So here you'll see um, I'm running into 
Autonomous door AI. The door this I can't get through. This is a secure door, and it only opens for red or higher clearance. And that doesn't include a citizen brandishing a burgundy skirt or sporting a scarlet speedo. It means red security clearance, usually reserved for shepherds. You'll recognize them by their large lasers with glowing red tips. Yeah, so uh, basically all the gating in the game is on this spectrum uh, kind of of the rainbow, and you'll see the bottom right, that uh, temporary HUD for that. But um, I need a red body to be able to get into this door. Um, the will be orange, yellow, green doors that are even a higher level security. Um, if I look throughout this area, there actually aren't any. Uh, these are all civilian bodies. Um, but luckily, remember, I can head launch, and this allows me to get some areas that I wouldn't be able to normally. Uh, so a lot of this stuff is backtracking stuff where I'll come back with a red body later and be able to get to some of these rooms that I can't quite get to yet. Another type of thing to launch, uh, land into. Uh, in this case it's just uh, some XP that will tie into level upgrade stuff that we'll see later. That's what all this stuff is as well. Barney number seven there. Uh, all, all the civilians do have names. I think Lee actually like went through most popular names from the 70s to pick those names. And then the seven is if if I lost this body and died and came back, there would be an eight now regenerated uh, somewhere in the space. It's kind of all on the fly stuff. So we're getting to our first mission area here. There's a green door. The doors all have terrible puns. Never mind. Green clearance required. Well, sometimes. Let's go back. Maybe it'll do it for this time. The other side of this door is amazing. I bet you're green with envy. Yeah, so it's full of those types of groaners. <laughs> we won't even go there. Enjoy. Back. Sort of debug warning I should have turned off. Your Tokyo begins now. The Hookah Lounge. So, this is our first uh, shepherd here, uh, and they won't bother you if you just kind of walk around. Like you can talk to everybody. As a good citizen. He says something robot -y. I couldn't hear. Uh, but if you do blast off your head around him, they'll notice that you now you are not a robot anymore, and you attack. And they can suck his head off as well. So I have a laser. And can blow up these civilian bodies when I careful. So we do have just kind of like run and gun uh, stuff, but there is also just a uh, cover system. Oh my goodness Hold on a sec. and uh, lock on stuff as well um, to be able to hide behind this stuff and kind of take a more precise aim um, so they realize that I'm not a robot there should be something roundabouts y'all can headland into and clear the lockdown now and the lasers bounce too so the red ones will just bounce once I just shot it in. Uh, higher level lasers will bounce more so there, I just turned off the lockdown with uh, that computer up there. Although one guy did spawn in after I left. So the head uh, has kind of body that or uh, health that regenerates, but the bodies you'll see this one on the left here is parking. The bodies don't, uh, and that's something to kind of try and encourage you to. Change bodies frequently. Uh, all right, now we're entering the satellite chalet, which is like the first mission area Good. in the demo. Y'all made it to the satellite chalet. I need y'all to realign five satellite dishes to clear up the fuzz, so I can help get y'all off this station. There's also I lots of little weird things to launch into. You saw this probably in the trailer, but this little little dog here. 
you can uh, to the sound bark at people. Relax. A lot of those are just for home. I'm far too advanced for this menial task. So, cutscenes. Any unauthorized entry into secure zones will result in immediate execution. All right, so this will be more of a combat section. Lockdown initiated. Shepherds converge. Oh, no, guys. Sorry. So there he hit me, uh, but I was able to launch off before I got to it, before my body exploded. Are you always trying to headshot so that you can keep uh, the body safe? So that you safe? keep their body. There I just didn't. I uh, actually just meleeed that guy and pushed him into the wall uh, and then let my body blow his up. And I would steal this last guy's head. Now that should clear the lockdown. Uh, you got it. <laughs> Thanks. Line up a shot. So there's an orange body. For that I'm gonna remove. Orange clearance of burn. Laser just right here. Access granted. So if I wouldn't have gotten that orange body, I would have not been able to get to that. There's one of them satellite dish control stations. Y'all gonna have to find a way to bring down that there force field to get them controlled. So this is the first satellite uh, from this mission I'm on is to find five different satellites. Uh, and this is the first which was blocked by force field. Tuning the satellite here to find uh, clear messages. Security levels are easily. Uh, and then real quick, I'll just try to run back if I can and show you guys a little bit of the upgrade stuff as well. Uh, get out of here. You got it. <laughs> now we'll tap out. Warnings. Uh, I get another one right here. Resuming standard operations. Yep. Resuming normal functions. Punch. Please observe all guidelines to minimize any unnecessary destruction. Thank you for your attention to detail. So yeah, this is uh, kind of the first of upgrade skill tree stuff you'll see. Uh, there's a laser here that I'm not able to get by. Uh, if I run my body into it, it will explode. But if I go over here, you'll get the first one. Any unauthorized entry into secure zones will result in immediate execution. Have a nice day. Cool. Please observe all guidelines to the This is gonna tickle a bit. Very destruction. Thank you for your attention to detail. Well, look 
Lily there. A hollow crystalline bounce shield. Y'all can use that to reflect lasers while you're flying your noggin around. Noggin. Uh, and so this is my new uh, shield here, uh, which can bounce lasers both like this um, to Uh, well, that was probably actually me dying in, in the end. But yeah, you'll be able to launch, uh, bounce lasers with your uh, head to like open that door, but also to defend from laser fire. Um, but I think we're now going to switch over here to the Nog. 